Welcome to another week with author E. Jamie. Um, I just got back from my walk, went to the library. Um, it's dreary outside, um, like five degrees or so, but the wind is actually like kind of cooler than that, so it's not exactly comfortable, but um, it's not like minus 20 or anything that we had like that last week. Um, we had like one day of sun <laughs> this week. Um, so that wasn't great. But um, yeah, went dropped some stuff at the off at the library and uh, picked up some stuff. Um, and funny, on the way back from the library, I had to stop off at uh, the pharmacy to, uh, first of all, pick up some Advil cold and sinus because for the past couple of days I've had sort of like that it kind of feels like a low grade cold like my head hurts a little bit I'm a little sniffly but sort of like if like I'm taking my Advil cold and sinus to kind of like fight it off so that it doesn't turn into a full-blown cold it just kind of, just enough to kind of irritate you. Not enough where like you actually feel sick, but sort of just that little bit, that little bit to sort of just irk you. Um, and I was on the way back from the library to going to the pharmacy. I actually saw that there is now on that route, a free little library just sprung up there. Um, and, uh, I looked inside and I, they didn't really have anything that I wanted, but just to sort of know that it's there and like next time I'll just drop some books off there and maybe they'll have something different, but it's so cool. There's like a free little library so close to me and it just, yeah, it just came out of nowhere because I know it wasn't there before. Um, so yeah, that was, that was nice to see. Um going to my sister's tomorrow and um i'm planning on friday to record my reaction for hershey's chocolate kisses uh episode 54. uh that is a turkish drama that is not the name of the show i cannot pronounce the name of the show because i'm an ignorant canadian girl it is h-e-r-c-c-a-i and so i want to record my reaction to that one on friday um, so let me show you what I got from the library. Got some movie DVDs. Um, I didn't buy any books today, so that's a win. <laughs> but, uh, just because they're, they didn't have anything on the sale rack at the library that I wanted. So, uh, first I got, um, We Have Always Lived in the Castle. I have heard about this I have had, I've heard about the book this is based on so very much. Uh, it's like all over you, you book too. I hear it about it. And this is a version that they made in, oh, I, I cannot tell that because it's, it's very faded. But I know it's recent because it's um, Taisa, Taisa Farmiga who I believe is Vera Farmiga's daughter or little sister, maybe? I know that she's a relation because she looks so much like her. I mean, look at that. She looks so much like her. Uh, and uh, Sebastian Stan. Bucky. <laughs> and I only know that he plays Bucky because I keep hearing about it. Fun fact, I have never seen any of the uh, Avenger movies. Well, that's not that's not true. I saw the first Thor, the very first one, with uh, Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman. Um, liked it, but I just never got into the Avenger movies. Maybe I will. Maybe I might watch them. I'm not like averse to watching them. I just never have. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, a movie based on the either book or short story by Shirley Jackson, We Have Always Lived in the Castle. 
So looking forward to that. Um, another sort of horror movie, You Should Have Left, with Kevin Bacon and Amanda Seyfried. Seyfried? The Crucible with uh, Daniel Day-Lewis and Winona Ryder, which I have heard about. And I, I've seen like little clips from here and there, but I've never seen like, I don't think the whole movie. So looking forward to that. Might do a reaction to that. Might do a reaction to uh, We Have All Lived in the Castle too. And an old school, very old school, starring Joan Crawford, I Saw What You Did. Now I remember I remember um, a remake that they made in the 80s, I believe it was. Uh, it was um, sort of the same thing, that these these two girls, and they're playing a prank. Uh, they call up people, and it's like, I know what you did, and I saw what you did, and I know who you are. And then that turned bad, because one of them, I think, actually is a killer. Uh, I'm sure we're going to come back to them. Um, and so this one is, I guess, the original. Is uh, yeah, Joan Crawford, and um, very much looking forward to that. I will probably do a reaction to this one too. Um, so yeah, that's what I got from the library. Um, my uh, movie reaction for After the Promise with Mark Harmon, a the 1987 movie that is just heartbreaking. Um, if you want to see me ball my eyes out, that is now up on Patreon, and uh, I will be editing that and putting it up on YouTube, uh, if YouTube lets me. Uh, I've been having some, like, good luck with my TV uh, reactions on my YouTube reaction channel, um, and by, like, splitting it Splitting it up, I have um, lost season four, episode two, up on that reaction channel. And you should see, I think the, the preview clip should be up here on on this on my regular channel. It should be up here, um, and I uh, will. I still have to add the link to the YouTube uh, reaction to the preview clip, so I still have to add that link, um, so I'll do that today. Um, I, today I will be editing, um, just, just doing some, like, basic sort of editing. Um, I will be working on, um, editing my upcoming book, Good Women. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today day. Uh, reading wise, I am still reading uh, Lorenzo Carcaterra's The Wolf. I'm about, yeah, I'm about halfway through, well, maybe a little bit over halfway. Um, I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it as much as his, his other books. I, maybe, maybe just because like terrors, fighting terrors stuff like doesn't really doesn't really like grab me um yeah that it, so i'm liking it um not loving it um i sadly dnf'd the birth of venus by sarah dunnett which made me very very sad because the writing style for this is gorgeous undeniable love the writing style however i wanted it like, it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted this to be sort of her, Alessandra's, sort of like coming of age, discovering her sexuality with this painter who comes to work at their house. That's not really what happen and then I, I thought there was gonna be like the scandal of it was gonna make them put her in a convent and that, that's not really what happened um it was more like 
they, her and the painter, they kind of have an, uh, like, there's a little bit of a, an attraction to each other, like, in the beginning. But then, uh, Alessandra is uh, in, a, in an arranged marriage with some guy. Uh, she marries the guy. Um, and then she and the painter, lo way, 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 like, a long time after, have an affair. And it's a very, like, short affair. Um, and uh, I believe she gets pregnant. I don't remember if she gets pregnant from the painter or her husband. The husband, I believe, dies. And then she just sort of goes to the convent. Um, it's her and, like, like I, I was skimming, like, the a lot of the rest of it because I was I was kind of like disappointed and I didn't really care um because it wasn't shaping up to be what I wanted it to be um so I don't know what happens to the daughter but she somehow just ends up going to the convent because her husband dies um yeah and it just it just wasn't what I wanted the writing was beautiful though I cannot deny that. But sadly, this one will be going to a better home. Um, and guess what I'll be starting today? It's here. It's here! <laughs> this is Anne of Windy Poplars, book four in the Anne of Green Gables um, series. Uh, let me read you the back. Anne Shirley has left Redmond College behind to begin a new job and a new sh chapter of her life away from Green Gables. Now she faces a new challenge, the Pringles. They're known as the royal family of Summerside, and they quickly let Anne know she is not the person they wanted as principal of Summerside High School. She's still young. She's a principal? Okay. But as she settles into the cozy tower room at Windy Poplar's, Anne finds she has great allies in the widows Aunt Kate and Aunt Chatty, and in their irres irrepressible housekeeper Rebecca Dew. As Anne learns Summerside's strangest secrets, winning the support of the prickly Pingle, Pringles is the only first is only the first of her delicious triumphs. Um. So, at this point, I believe, because Anne of the Island ended with uh. Gilbert proposing. So in this one, they're engaged, I believe. So I cannot, I'm going to be starting this with today, and I'm so excited. Um, yep. So that is the plan for today. So do some reading, do some cleaning up around here, um, do some editing, and um, yeah, and then tomorrow I'm planning to go on my to my sisters. We're probably going to binge some Stranger Things season four. Um, and yeah, so going to be out tomorrow. Um, Friday, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to go out on Friday. I think I'm going to stay home. And uh, because to do the reaction for that Turkish drama. And it takes a long time because those episodes are like two hours plus more uh, long. So, yeah, that's, I don't think I'm going to go out on Friday. So I think it's just today I went on my walk. Tomorrow I'm going to my sister's. Friday I'm likely staying. So, yep, I guess I will. That's going to be it for today and um, I will talk to you guys later.